fans can get in on the action starting tomorrow with Tourney Town at the Huntington Convention Center. It's free and is the epicenter for all women's Final Four activities. We're talking entertainment, food, exhibits, and games. Then, of course, there's Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Decked out with the Final Four signage and branding, crews have installed the new flooring. The CEO of Rock Entertainment Group told me hundreds of thousands of hours have gone into preparing for this week. I asked the president of the Greater Cleveland Sports Commission how they'll measure the success of the Final Four events. To me, I think a lot of this is how Cleveland feels about itself. We should be incredibly proud of what we did to, quite frankly, beat other cities for the rights to host this. And hopefully when we're done, have the NCAA and others feel like we were one of, if not the best host of this event that's ever, ever happened. David Gilbert says the arena is sold out and most people with tickets are from out of town. Plus, they expect many more without tickets will come to the city just to experience the other events and energy that the NCAA Women's Final Four has to offer. And Gilbert said this week is not only about making it a good experience for the teams and the fans, it's also about changing visitors' perceptions of Cleveland. We'll talk more about that in the news at 5 Plus. The potential economic impact, of course, they're expecting millions of dollars to come here. But again, he was, you know, just talk, stressing the importance of we want them to leave and want to come back. 100%. Like we want to bring out all of our events here. Here's the thing about Cleveland. I think uh, a lot of people come here and they don't know what to expect. Yeah. And then they get here and they're like, oh my goodness, this is an amazing city. That's at least what I've seen from my friends who've never been and who yeah. have visited me over the last four plus years. And they're always surprised. And that's what we want. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I can just say, that was my experience. Yeah. I mean, it was like, oh, wait a second. I don't know anything about Cleveland. Then come out here for the interview, come out here to live and yeah. you're like, wow, this is this is great. It's an awesome place, and I think so. all these people are going to fall in love with it. And we cannot wait to hear about the economic yeah. impact because that's so big for the city. Yes.